welcome to you. My name's Dale and this is Dale's Addiction. Today I'm going to give you my first impressions of the Fendi Fragrance Collection. Now Fendi recently launched seven new fragrances. This video is not sponsored, it is not affiliated, it's just that my lovely sales associate Aaron, hey Aaron, sent me the samples to try because he thought I might be interested and so I thought what a great video that would make. I'm someone that's pretty loyal to my fragrance family. I typically tend to like really complex fragrances that have a kind of a unisex um, wearability to them. I prefer things that have kind of got amber and orange blossom and oud and um, heavy rose, like not patchouli rose, um, that kind of come I don't have any technical terminology I'm sorry but they kind of emanate um, as your body heats up and yeah I um, I love those sorts of fragrances so I tend to stick to similar families uh, it's very rare that I head outside of those just for reference some of my fav favorite fragrances that I'm rotating through at the moment uh, the Harmonist in um, Moon Glory, which is probably the freshest one that I have. I've got Loewe 00 Woman. I have um, three from Louis Vuitton, Rose de Vence, La Sable Rose and Stella Times. From the Louis Vuitton men's range, I love La Immensity. So uh, hopefully that gives you a bit of a sense of what I kind of tend to stick to. So I've got no idea what to expect with these fragrances. I've got the Fendi website up, so I'm going to have the notes and things that I'll read from my phone. But yeah, this is my first impression, live with you, because I literally haven't had a chance to look at them so yet. So the website talks about the reason for the fragrance collection is that it tells the story of Fendi from another point of view. A century after Adele Casagrande and Eduardo Fendi established their fur and leather atelier in Rome, the third and fourth generations weave olfactory stories of the family's secret gardens through their storied medium, the finest raw materials. So there are seven fragrances. They have all been inspired by different members of the Fendi family. And so I've got the teeny tiny little samples that I showed you recently in luxury gifts that I've received. So here they all are. I'll put them in order of most liked to least liked when we're finished. Let's start. Let's do it in order of what the website lists them so that we can uh, get a sense of those. So the first one is Ciao Amore. Fragrances are selling for 550 AUD for 100 ml of Eau de Parfum. For Leonetta Luciano Fendi, it's a never, it's a blah, 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 blah. Ciao Amore, a natural spontaneous greeting for someone you love. A fragrance that evokes strong bonds with youthful fervor. For Leonetta Luciano Fendi, it's an evocation of Ponza the island between Rome and Naples, where the family spends its summers. Must check out Ponza. A moment of eternity, a summer holiday that lasts all year round. Sounds lovely. So key notes, orange blossom, absolute of the Tunisian origin, fig leaf, and tonka bean. I like orange blossom. I think tonka bean could be a scent that I vibe with as well, but let's open it up and I'm just going to spray it directly on to the box and um, and smell it from there so ciao amore here we go first thoughts are Glen 20 <laughs> Yeah, this one, to my nose, smells very much like a scented hygiene spray. Ciao amore, not for me. <laughs> Let's move on to Prima Terra. Prima Terra, one's homeland. Southern and Eastern Africa, where Kim Jones spent much of his childhood, where landscapes mingle with impressions, scents and expressions. A chapter of his life that remains an eternal source of inspiration. 
When we created the fragrance, my desire was to bring together all the scents that made up this chapter of my life, my youth in Africa. We have mandarin oil harvested in Sicily and Calabria, rosemary oil of Tunisian and Moroccan origin, and oak moss absolute. Right, I don't think I'm going to be a fan of this one either, but let's have a go. It's kind of brutal, isn't it? But fragrance is such a personal thing. Here we go. Oh, it's quite masculine, actually. Hmm. It's got like a, um, something sharp. Like aniseed or... Yeah, I think that, that, um, there's something like forest flory about that. Oak moss. Mmm. That would be nice on a man, perhaps. It's not my cup of tea, but Primatera, lovely. Um, I might keep that for Mr. Addiction. It's quite masculine. I normally like a masculine vibe, but that one is like, I've been out chopping wood in the forest all day vibe. <laughs> And that's not me. The next one is Perke No, which means why not? The comfort of a linen sheet and the unmistakable warmth of antique wood. A manifesto of simplicity in a fragrance. Like a white sheet drying in the sun in the garden of somewhere, the family home in the heart of the Roman countryside. Um, like Sylvia Venturini Fendi, it never says never. It never says always. It rather says why not? The keynotes are pink peppercorn from the Indian Ocean and Brazil and sandalwood from Australia. Well, this will have to be good, won't it? So let's try Perkeno. Right, here we go. It's quite subtle compared to the other two, actually. It's quite pretty, the pink peppercorn. The sandalwood's not obvious, like it doesn't smell like you've just walked into some kind of hippie incense store with crystals and what have you. Mmm. Perke no. I like it. Okay. That one I'm going to keep. Um, I think it's quite light and feminine, but it still has complexity. I can still smell it in the air. I think it'll be really lovely on the skin. Mmm. Okay. I like that one. So the next one is Sempre Mio. Another orange blossom. So the freshness of orange blossom lemonade and the warmth of Atlas Cedar. Okay. I might like this one too. Sempre Mio. Mine forever. So far yet so near. As far away as the Atlas Foothills, the Arica Valley just outside Marrakesh, the emotional treasure of Delfina Deletre Fendi, who recounts her childhood memories of a land where she feels she belongs. The ingredients, bergamot, ooh, me likey, bergamot intragali from Calabria, orange flower, absolute of Moroccan origin, and cedarwood atlas from Morocco. Okay, I think I might like this one too. Sempre mio. Let's try it. Sounds like a fragrance that I would like. It's oddly fresh. I thought it would have been a bit heavy with like cedar wood and bergamot. Oh, that's lovely. That is um something where you'd walk past it and smell it and then you'd be like following your nose. That's what I tend to do. The orange blossom is really um fresh in this one. Like it's you can it's like the you know when you twist the rind and you get that spray of kind of orange oil. Mmm. My mouth is actually watering a little bit. I think that's a yeah. I think this is really unique. This would be beautiful for summer. It'd be gorgeous. Okay, sempre mio. Oh, I can still smell that. It's so fresh. Like I don't generally don't like citrusy kind of fragrances because like lemons and limes and like those kind of zesty they don't do anything for me, but that's like just hanging about and it's lovely. 
All right, we've got three to go. La Baguette is the next one. The simplicity, sorry, the exquisite simplicity of a baguette, the inescapable allure of suede leather. A fragrance like the summer sun rising over Rome, wheat blonde like Delfina de Lettre Fens, Fendi's twins, Tazio and Dardo. Delightful like their favourite afternoon snack, a slice of sweet buttered bread. For Fendi, the baguette has always been more than a bag. It's a beloved icon that unites generations. Keynotes, Iris Ultimate from France, Leather Accord of the Perfumer's Creation, Vanilla CO2 crafted with sun-dried beans from Madagascar. I don't think I'll like it because it has vanilla, but we'll see. Oh, that smells like one of those really strong glasshouse vanilla candles. Okay, it dries down more subtly. It dries down quite like, um, it rounds off, I would describe it. Yeah. I guess it's it's sweeter. I think that's what I don't like about it. Um, but it does round off quite nicely. So it's a no for me, but it's not offensive like the Glen 21. The next one is Dolce Baccio. Hopefully I'm getting this pronunciation correct. Oh, okay, here we go. The intensity of a rose and the sweetness of an apricot. Ooh, I don't know. Dolce Baccio, a sweet kiss on the cheek, lingering like the smear of a rose-scented lipstick. The rose named after Anna Fendi, ochre-coloured like the sky at the dawn of the heart of Rose's Rome Garden. Rome, blah, 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 of Rome's Rose Garden. Let's see. Uh, keynotes. Rosa Damascena. Absolute of Turkish origin, apricot accord of the perfumer's creation, and patchouli of Indonesian origin. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. I think the patchouli thing and the apricot thing kind of threw me off, but I could be wrong. Okay, here we go. That reminds me of this lip balm I used to get from Avon as a kid. Whoa, there's a lot going on. It's a peach bellini. It's a peach bellini in a perfume. It's not too bad. It can't, I think for me it's a little juvenile. The apricot's a bit strong. It's definitely peach bellini vibes. That's, that's what... That probably says more about me than the fragrance, but that's what immediately comes to mind. So, like the vanilla, a little bit too sweet for me. And our final scent is Casa Grande. The nobility of leather and the pleasure of a sweet cherry. Adele Casa Grande, the Maison's founder. A name with a destiny within. Fendi, a great house. The evocation of a leather workshop. A bridge between Rome and Istanbul. The native town of her husband, Eduardo Fendi. A fragrance like a material with the intensity of leather and the warmth of fur. Imagining a leather workshop in Istanbul for the Casa Grande fragrance was a way of recalling the family's roots and paying tribute to the founders. Okay. Keynotes. Cherry liquor, note of the perfumer's creation, incense oil of Somalian origin and leather note of the perfumer's creation. Okay. So this one is, you know, pretty in complex the perfumer has made these notes right I'm expecting something big here if it's meant to be like wearing you know leather and fur whoa <laughs> okay mmm I get wood I'm getting wood vibes It is like walking into a workshop. I don't know if I want to wear that smell though. Maybe, maybe it might be a nice masculine fragrance for... Ugh, I think it's on my hand. I f there's a little bit of smoke in there as well. 
a little bit of like muskiness like yeah I smell wood leather smoke I don't get the cherry yeah maybe the cherry liqueur at the end mmm it's complex I think I'd like to smell that on my husband not for me not for me so let's recount my favorites I think sempre mio um, because of that really vibrant orange um, sempre mio yeah it's really surprised me and then perché no because of that really subtle pink peppercorn um, I quite like that intensity as well so both of those not so sweet and then fragrances I'm curious for Mr. Addiction to try on his actual skin are Primaterra and Casa Grande. Primaterra are first and then Casa Grande. I think that one's a bit of a big fragrance and that would take a particular individual to wear that. Mr. Addiction doesn't wear fragrance a lot. So yeah, I think it would um, take a bit of convincing for him to wear that one, but you know, I think I could do it. My least favorite is Ciao Amore. That's the one that for me smelt like the Glen 20. La Baguette, a little too vanilla, and Dolce Bacio, a little bit like a peach bellini. That is my comprehensive summary of the Fendi fragrance collection. Will I be buying any? Look, the place that I will buy fragrance, if I do decide that I am missing something from my collection, will most likely be when I go on holiday to Europe later this year. Whilst I really appreciate being introduced to the fragrances, I'm not a fragrance girly. I don't collect them. Something really has to take me for me to be interested in buying it. I'm currently trialling um, Oud Alazan from Hermes and... I feel like it's lovely, but it's not entirely for me at the moment. So I've got a little sample of that one. Fragrance is not something that I go looking for. I'm quite content having my signature fragrances. So this is the review from a non-fragrance aficionado, if you hadn't figured that out already. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining me. Give me a thumbs up if this has been helpful for you in any way. And let me know what your favourites are if you've had the opportunity to try the new Fendi Fragrance Collection. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'd love to see you back for my next one. Until then, ciao amore!